Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this demonstration, we would analyze the flow through a rotating section of a cylindrical pipe. There is a fluid flow in a pipe, the pipe has been divided into three sections, the middle section is rotating at an angular speed of 20 radians per second. Simulate the flow behavior through this pipe. From this tutorial, you would be able to learn the application of the projection tool and surface split. Sweep method meshing. Axisymmetric algorithm. Adaptive meshing technique. ANSI's fluent solver setup. Moving wall boundary assignment and solver. Creation of path lines in fluent results. CFD post processing. We would at first start with the creation of the geometry in the ANSI's design modeler. Open the ANSI's workbench, double click on ANSI's fluid flow fluent, or drag it to the project schematic window. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Keep the default unit as millimeter. Select the XY plane to create the sketch. Click on the Z axis to make the sketch plane normal to the screen. Go to Sketching Toolboxes, select the Circle tool and draw a circle for the pipe sketch. Put the dimensions. Click on Generate. Select the sketch and click on Extrude. In the Geometry box click on Apply. This means the sketch is to be extruded. Select the operation as Add Frozen. This option will keep the body as a separate entity than the other parts, which is to be created further. Enter the depth of extrusion as 3000 mm. Then click on Generate to create the geometry. Select the YZ plane to create another sketch. Draw two straight lines on the plane that should be on the cylinder geometry. Put the distance dimension from the origin. Click on Generate. Go to Create Menu Select Lines from Sketches. Select the lines as the base object, then click on Apply. Click on Generate. Now the sketch is converted into the line body. Now go to Tools menu and select the Projection tool. Change the type as edges on the face. Select the two line bodies as the edges and the cylinder face as the target surface. Select the Extend Edges option as Yes. Otherwise, it will project only on half of the cylinder surface. Click on Generate. Now you can see the cylinder surface has been split into three. Geometry is complete. Now proceed for meshing. Right click on Mesh Select Insert then select Method. Select the geometry and click on Apply. Select the method as Sweep Method. Select the Axisymmetric Algorithm. Enter the O Grid Divisions as 10. Right-click on Mesh and select Generate Mesh.
To get smaller cells, turn on the default adaptive sizing option and increase the resolution to the highest value, which is 7. Now generate the mesh. Check the mesh statistics if it's within the student version limit of 512,000 nodes or elements. Now we would assign the names to the various boundary surfaces using the Create Name Selection option. Rotate the geometry and select the end face which is nearer to the origin and name it as the inlet. Then select the pipe surface near to inlet and name it as stationary wall. Select the middle surface and name it as the rotating wall. Select the last surface and name it the stationary wall too. Select the end face and name it the outlet. Turn off the display mesh option and check the assigned name selections. Make sure that one surface should not be named twice. Now right click on mesh and select update mesh, it would link the generated mesh with the fluent solver. Close the meshing and proceed for solver setup in ANSI's fluent. Open the ANSI's fluent solver by double click on setup. In the fluent launcher select the double precision option and select start. The model we had created would be loaded automatically with all the meshing information in this solver. Click on the check to check the model if the meshing has been done properly or not. Make sure that the minimum volume of the meshed cells should not be negative. Otherwise it might create an error while solving. Go to models menu and select the default K Omega SST turbulence model. Click on Materials Outline and open the default material database. Select Water as the fluid material to be used in this simulation. Click on Copy. Click on Change or Create. To assign this material to the fluid domain we need to go to the cell zone conditions and assign the material to this domain. Click on Apply. Now go to Boundary Conditions, select the inlet. Keep the default velocity inlet boundary condition at the inlet. Put the inlet velocity as 0.1 meters per second. Click on Apply. Select the moving wall boundary. In the Momentum tab select the wall motion as moving wall and the motion as rotational. As the geometry has been created with axis on the z-axis, so no need to change the rotational axis origin. Enter the speed as 20 radians per second. 
click on Apply. Put the outflow boundary condition at the outlet. Click on Apply. Keep the default assigned boundary conditions on the stationary wall. Keep the default coupled pressure velocity coupling scheme. Change the gradients to green gauze cell based. Go to monitors and select the residuals. Decrease the residuals to 10 to the power minus 6 for better solution accuracies. Click on OK. Click on Initialization, select Standard Initialization. Select Compute from the Inlet. Click on Initialize. Go to Run Calculation. Enter the number of iterations as 1000. Click on Calculate. The solution got converged on 149 iterations. So we can stop here and proceed to check the results. Click on the Results tab and select Path Lines. Click on New. Select the inlet surface to start the path lines. Select the color by velocity and variables as the velocity magnitude. Click on Save or Display. These are the fluid path lines. It can be seen that the flow is decreasing towards the outlet due to the negative pressure generation near the rotating wall. Close the fluent and proceed for the post-processing results in CFD post-processing. Sometimes the solution does not get updated if you close the fluent setup directly. For that case, update the results manually by right-click on Solution and select Update. The tick symbol denotes that the solution is updated. Now open the CFD post-processing. Insert the streamline. Select start from inlet. Select number of points as 100. Click on apply. Select the quick animation. Select the streamline. Play the animation. You can also save this animation video. To change the default legend scale, click on default legend view. Change the precision to fixed. Click on apply. To save the image, click on the camera icon. 
Select the location where the image to be saved. Enter the size and quality of the image to be saved. Click on Save. Go to Location and insert a new plane. Select the method as is plane. Click on Apply. Insert a new contour. Select the new plane as the location. Select the variable as the velocity. Enter the number of color bands of the contour as 100 then click on Apply. This is the velocity contour on the section plane. Similarly, you can check the contours of other variables also. Insert a velocity vector. Select the plane as the location. You can also change the arrow type of the vector. To get the velocity vector for full geometry, select the fluid domain in the location, click on apply. With this let's conclude this demonstration. If you have any query regarding this then please comment below. If you like this tutorial then please hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy stay safe.